Ayuk getting traded is another one that uh, I've been hearing a little bit about. Yeah, uh, I could see that one happening on draft night. I mean, if the Giants are interested, pick 25, it would make sense not to do that trade now because you don't know who's going to be on the board at pick 25. And there might be two or three people the Niners are interested in or one. And if he's there, they might do it. If he's not, they might not because, you know, they need a starting right tackle. And you're not going to get one with the 99th pick in the draft. So maybe there's one guy that they would trade Brandon Ayuk for. Um, but you got to be careful because last I mean, last time they took a right tackle in the first round, they just ended up with a decent, solid starter, not not an impact player. And Brandon Ayuk's an impact player. So if you trade him for a starting right tackle, better be an impact player. Otherwise, you're downgrading even though you're filling a position to need. So they got to think about that. But I think that 25th pick is probably on the table. The Niners just have to re- figure out if there's someone there that they want more than I Yeah, Yeah, and, and then if that doesn't work out, then you've got another uh, Defoe-Kinlaw situation where you trade somebody, the pick doesn't work out, and all of a sudden it's haunting you two, three years later. People right. are still talking about, we should never have traded IU. It's true. But do you really have enough targets to go around? I mean, it's a run-first team, to Brandon Ayuk's point. And you already have McCaffrey, Debo, and Kittle. Like, you don't throw that much. All those guys get paid so much. You have to give them touches. Like, where does Ayuk factor in? Isn't that, isn't that his question? He calls himself fourth option to run first team. Like, it's not really fair to him. He's definitely graduated beyond that. He should be the first or second second option on a team that passes. But that's not really the Niners. And from the Niners' perspective, if they if those three are their top three guys, from their fourth option, wouldn't they want a guy who's maybe a little bigger, a little faster, a little bit more of a big play threat? Someone who, you know, doesn't get the ball as much as Ayuk. But when he does, it's for bigger plays. I don't know. I could see that happening. And that was supposed to be Danny Gray, right? But Danny Gray, I don't know if he's that guy. And he's not that big. I mean, that's, no. that is My, one thing. Chris I've been Conley is that in. guy. Five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Five years ago. Yeah. He had yeah. one season of what? Right. 750 Something yards. Like that. So if they could get like TVs. the next Chris Conley, that's probably what they're looking for. Someone bigger, faster than Ayuk, but not, not necessarily someone who gets the same volume because he's not as, not as good. Ayuk's really good. Very well-rounded. 